All right, guys, I know this isn't the usual type of video I make, but enjoy. All right, so Dakotas, an absolute legend. Most of you guys probably know Dakotas from Fortnite, but I'm going to be telling you guys his story because I've been consistently watching him for about five years now. So uh, originally, Dakotas started off by playing a game called War Z which was a open world survival game based off of pvp so player versus player where you would find guns and stuff and fight against other players so dakota's got like you well i'm gonna say big but i mean i mean it's not exactly big compared to what he is now he was everything like when i was watching him like 300 viewers which for that game that was good he was like the top streamer okay so, Dakotas was known as probably the king of that game, alongside Summit 1G, who, if you guys didn't know, Summit 1G also became big from War Z. Look, this is the good old days. This is the game that started my career. So, background behind War Z. War Z, obviously, I told you guys, an open world survival game, but it later, due to copyright issues, had to be cha had to change its name to Infestation Survivor Stories, which didn't affect the game at all. Eventually, the game started to die. There was a big hacking problem, mainly due to poor devs and stuff like that. Mainly Sergey, who Dakota didn't like either. Roll the clip. No! No! <laughs> yeah, what's up, bitch? I told you to fucking run, kid. I just crash at you, dude. <laughs> I told you to fucking run. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> fuck this game, dude. Fuck this game. <laughs> yeah, what's up now, Dakota? What's up now? <laughs> okay, so Infestations Forever Stories War Z. Dead game. There was a huge hacker problem, mainly caused by some guy named Fredicus, Master Coder, who was uh, made some free hacks that everyone just started to download, completely ruined the game. There were some emulators made and stuff, there's poor devs. Dakota's always refused to pay, play emulators, but he did end up playing games like H1Z1, Miscreated, PUBG, stuff like that. Kept his channel alive, streamed consistently, still was averaging a decent amount of viewers and had about 70k subs on YouTube. So now, after doing that for a long time, he finally, finally Fortnite came out. And he picked up Fortnite right away and started playing and making videos. And you could tell he was absolutely in love with this game. So, then, well, it's actually funny because one of Dakota's, like, most viewed videos, like, right from the beginning of Fortnite, was him getting 29 kills in a solo versus squad. You know what gun he was using in that? It was an RPG. And that's crazy. And, uh, because you know, nowadays he won't even touch one of those things because he's afraid he's going to blow himself up. <laughs> Oh boy, what a good guy. And uh, if I didn't mention guys, you guys know Phase Yellow? Yeah, he also started off playing War Z with Dakotas too. They were good friends. I'm sure you've seen him on his on Dakota's streams early when he was just starting off Fortnite. Because they've, they've been good friends for a really long time. And um, his name was originally Yellow Tree. And before that was even Elo Tree. Because on one of Yellow's streams back in the day, he said his original name was supposed to be Elo Tree. But everyone called him Yellow Tree randomly so he just changed the stuff to yellow tree and that's the day so then dakotas started playing fortnite started to get really big consistently posting videos doing all this stuff and then it came back to haunt him dakotas was really big you guys know when i was talking about fredicus he made hacks so he's obviously a scum since he made hacks but uh he actually bought the rights to infestation survivor stories remade it into a game called new z which is actually I don't know if it still is, but available on Steam. Apparently, he made a lot of money off it, too, for the short period it was up because people were buying, like, gold coins, GC. But uh, he actually had the rights to, like, the game, right? And Dakota's had a bunch of the game posted already on his channel. So Dakota's posted the stuff when he was allowed to. But Fredikas actually copyright striked Dakota's channel for having all this stuff on it. So Dakota's had to get rid of all of his gameplay. And back at the time, Dakota's... Dakota's used to have his face cam on. He used to wear a wolf hat. There were some really chill streams. I'm not saying they aren't now. I still love them. But there was some really good stuff like that. And so then he had to deal with all that. I'm really happy Dakota's was doing well at the time. So he had the money to fight it. All that type of stuff. And uh, he's just been growing ever since. He joined TSM. He's doing amazing now. 
and so that's pretty much how we went from like 40k average viewers like got up to 40k average viewers when he used to only have like 300 and he was he's been an amazing guy since one of the most genuine guys on twitch that i've watched and uh definitely helped me throughout literally every single game he played along the way i was playing i was playing with him and he was always just an absolute god at every single game he played i remember i would always get i would always be a bambi getting wrecked because i had no gi and next thing you know it would come up as dakotas <laughs> all right guys so obviously i don't know everything about dakotas only dakotas does but all this is just the information i've gathered throughout the years stuff like that so all this information i'm like pretty sure is like 100 percent accurate but um Nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed. This was just a shortened version of Dakota's whole career, I guess. Um, Dakota's, you're a really genuine guy. I love you. I've always looked up to you. Keep being you. You do you, brother.